hi guys welcome back to my channel so for today's video i'm going to do a very classic rose gold eyes with red lips which you can wear for this eid or anywhere else so i'm going to start off by mixing two of my favorite foundations with almond oil now i'm using an oil with foundation for the very first time so i just used a drop and i mixed all of these three together and then the one thing that i did not do was moisturize my face i was too afraid because i thought you know mixing oil in the foundation would make it a little bit heavy but i was so wrong moisturizing your face beforehand is a must so here i just went ahead with that and for concealing my under eyes i'm using the nyx kacha covered concealer and I just use my fingers because I think the warmth of the fingers work best with this thick concealer. And then I just set everything in place using a compact powder. Next I'm using the same concealer for highlighting so I'm basically applying it on the corners of my mouth, on my chin, the nose, the forehead and also below my the hollows of my cheeks. Now I do not really like using shimmery um, highlighters on these areas, I'm mean, not specifically on my T-zone so I instead prefer using lighter concealers. Next I just set everything again with a compact powder. Now this I'm using for the very first time. I was using it for the very first time and this one is the LA Pro Girl Pro Conceal Pro Girl LA something yeah. So <laughs> I used some of it on the hollows of my cheeks for contouring but this shade which is chestnut I would say it's sort of orangey so it wouldn't be really great for contouring but yeah it would be good for bronzing your face and I did not know how much to use and how much of product it would dispense and oh my god it just ended up too much on my face. So yeah, I'm just trying to work with it and again a word of advice, please do not use this on your nose for contouring your nose, <laughs> for contouring your nose because it is very orange, it would end up making you look muddy which happened in my case as well but yeah I just, I just <laughs> managed to work with it somehow, I still think it kind of looked muddy in the end, I mean with the entire makeup it kind of looked okay but yeah it, it could have been definitely better. So here I'm just trying to blend everything in. When working with this concealer, make sure to use the smallest quantity. If it's less, you can always go back and add more. But oh my god, this is way too pigmented and you just need a tiny bit of it. Just a tiny bit of it. So yeah, here after gazillion attempts of blending everything in place, I'm just moving on to my eyes now. And for the base, I'm starting off with my favorite Inglot Eye Base and i would set it with the powder before moving on to the foundation not the foundation the eyeshadow <laughs> for the eyeshadow i'm using a rose gold shade all over my eyelids i'm going to keep this look very very simple something everyone else can do and as you can see I'm just using my fingers and then I just use a lighter rose goldish on the inner corner of my eyes then took a fluffy blending brush with some bronzer and um, I just blended everything into the crease I'm using these eyeshadows mainly from the Sivana Shimmer Brick I love the rose gold colors over there so yeah just for your reference for the lower lash line, I'm starting off with the same bronzer that I used in my crease. Then I went ahead with a dark blue eyeshadow and I applied it all over my lower lash line uh, barring the inner corners. Smoked it out just a little bit, not much. Then I took a black eyeshadow and applied it only on the outer three-fourth of the lower lash line 
नेक्स्ट आई वेंट अहेड विद दिस ब्लश फ्रॉम सिवाना करेक्टर पैलेट नंबर जीरो वन दिस इज एन अमेजिंग ब्यूटिफुल ब्लश इट इज डेफिनेटली अ ड्यूब फॉर नार्स गैजम एंड प्लीज डोंट माइंड माई हेयर बिकॉज दे वर फाइन गो ऑल ओवर द प्लेस आई डोट नो वाई एंड देन एम यूजिंग इम नॉट अ मैट लाइक अ रियली फाइन पर्ली गोल्डन आई शेडो फॉर हाईलाइटिंग माई ब्राउ बोन एंड ऑल्सो द हाई पॉन्स ऑफ माई चीक्स next i went ahead and i don't know why i did this step but i just went ahead and applied some black eye shadow as an eyeliner first i don't know why i did this because it definitely did not do anything and then i went ahead with an eyeliner and did a winged eyeliner Of course I had to go and apply lots of mascara. And as you can see I've used a golden eye shadow in the corner of my eyes. And the most exciting part of any makeup tutorial I love my lipsticks and this one is the in color matte me lipstick in the shade I guess 01. I don't remember and I I don't remember. So I'll just add it in the description box below so please check that out. But this is a really beautiful matte deep red lipstick and i topped everything with a uh, makeup setting spray from makeup revolution not makeup revolution this one is from freedom so that's about it i hope you guys enjoyed the video if yes then do not forget to give it a thumbs up and i'll meet you guys soon